hey guys check it out check it out wow Nylight LED light bar. I picked these up on Amazon and oh boy am I excited to get these mounted before the snow falls. These, I got this kit here and uh, you know how bright these LED lights are, it's insanity. So, this kit was probably designed more for a Jeep um, but I picked it up for two projects and it's going to be really cool to do that. First we got this insanely bright light bar up that's going to be sitting on my ropes bar for my my uh, Kubota. So I'll be able to light up the driveway when I'm snow plowing at night and that is going to be incredibly great because the lights that come with the Kubota BX25 when the snow plow is in the up position it blocks a lot of the view of the light. So having this top down view that I'm going to have is going to be so great. And so that's that. Let's take a look at it. Massive heat dissipation rails on that. That's ah, beautiful. All right, then I got these. And these are going to go on the Husqvarna garden tractor. So again, man, look at the heat sink on that thing. Huh? Again, just like my old Husqvarna had an LED light bar on it, these two will help because I'm going to be mounting a snow plow on that as well. Be able to plow with either the Husqvarna or the Kubota, and both requiring a lot of nice light in order to see. The lights on the Kubota are okay. They're, I give them you know, 60 70%. They're H4s, they're halogen bulbs, but again, the plow gets in the way. The lights on their garden tractor on the Husqvarna, they suck. And I did put LED upgrades in those, but they still suck. It's just not a very good headlight design. So this is going to be insanely bright. And so I'm not sure if I'm just going to mount one of these on there or two, but that is something that I'll do in a, in a separate project here on the channel as we get closer to winter. Now this also comes with, of course, all the mounting equipment that you're going to need to mount that, brackets for all four of these. And it also comes with a massive uh, wiring harness to make it all fit together with some pretty decent looking instructions in there. So I'll go through that as well. You can add switches to make this all play out. It does have a relay in there. Now in the sense of the Kubota, I'm going to be putting the headlights. I'm just going to tap in to the headlight switch. So when the headlights are on, this will be on. When it comes to the Husqvarna, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have this so it's hardwired to be on at all times when the headlights are on. But if you want to install this on a car, which I believe this kit was made for a Jeep, you know, where you had the, the you know, one on the grill and two on each side or whatever, then you, you do have the option of this really nice, complete set here. And, uh, and it looks really well featured, to be honest with you. It's got a relay in there. So you're talking about something when you turn the car off, it'll, it'll power off and that you're getting all the available voltage where you need it. So really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, go outside and try to figure out where exactly I'm gonna mount all this stuff. And one of them I will film here. I won't, I won't put both projects. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the Husqvarna today or the Kubota today, but one of them will get wired up so you can see what it looks like with just one of the three lights you see in this kit. So pretty cool, let's do it. All right, so the first thing I did here is I mounted these two bottom brackets. This is going to be a little different for uh, some installs. So most of the installations, you're going to be drilling a hole. You're going to take these brackets, you're going to drill a hole, and then drill through the body or the bumper or wherever you're going to mount these things so that you can su support them. In my case, I'm putting it on the rope system. And by drilling holes in the ropes would be to, it would compromise the, the structural integrity. So what I chose to do is I'm going to be zip tying these to the ropes. But that's okay. This thing doesn't weigh a ton. It, you know, maybe three or four pounds and a couple of good size zip ties on either side supported. This thing shouldn't move at all. But what I did go ahead and do, and you can see here, is I set my, my angle. So both these are set up. Now I'm just going to tighten all four of these screws here. And that will uh, tighten that up so it's a slight downward, you know, pretty much just in front of where the plow is going to be. Cool. All right, so I got Jen here helping me out, and I got my zip ties. And what we're going to do is just zip tie it in place here. I'm going to use a bunch eventually, but I'll just use one on each side to start with to make sure that I like its positioning. And again, this might not be the conventional way to go about doing it, but sometimes, you know, we need to think outside the box. And well, I don't want to damage the ropes on this system because I live in an area where, like every once in a while, I need the ropes, don't I? 
Yes. <laughs> All right, you should be able to let go. Okay. So yeah, it's going to take a bunch to get that firmed up there, but we can do that. And that looks about centered to you. Pretty darn good. Cool. So let me go ahead. I'm going to continue to secure this, and then we'll move on to wiring it up. Cool. It is uh, securely mounted. It took six zip ties. Jen's just going to go around and snip off all the leftovers, and we're ready to move on to wiring it up. Like I said before, in this one, we're going to be wiring it into the headlight switch, so we're going to be able to bypass some of the wiring that you need to do if you want to put this on a Jeep or whatnot, but the effect is going to be the same. You flip on your switch and you're going to have one heck of a bright light. All right, now that we've got it mounted up properly and nice and snug, Jen is going to go ahead and we've got our wiring. She's just taping that up with electrical tape to give it a little extra bit of security before we tap it into the uh, existing wiring on the tractor. This project so far is going really quickly, really smoothly, and I don't see any issues coming up as we move along, so I think this will be done in no time. Okay, so I would say this installation took less than half an hour, which is nice. If I were installing it on a car, I would say it's probably closer to an hour if I was gonna run that harness the way that uh, you know came with, where you put a relay in place. But this setup is gonna work just fine. I ran my wiring down here, gave myself a little extra room here, it might be hard to see there, but that's because the ropes folds up and down. Made some final adjustments as far as the angle goes. And of course, once the snow starts falling, I'll get an idea if I need to move it farther down or up, but there's a lot of room to adjust there, so that's cool. And then tapped into the existing harness. So what I'm gonna do now is turn off the lights and we'll light up this uh, garage wall here to see. It's painfully bright, but you'll see here in a second. And then later on in the fall, when I'm snow plowing, I'll show you a quick video update of it because if it's anything like the one I had on the uh, Kubota, on the Husqvarna, these things will blind you, they're so bright. So it's pretty awesome. All right, here we are in uh, the darkened garage. There's no lights on here, and I'm just gonna turn the key on engine off, and I'll flip the lights on, and you will see, oh, that's a turn signal, sorry. That's also a turn signal. <laughs> that's the headlights, holy cow. Yeah, pretty darn bright. Uh, I would say compared to the dimly lit yellow, and I don't know if you can even make out those dimly lit yellow ones down there, an incredible change in uh, the level of brightness. And I wouldn't want to look directly into it, that's for sure, especially not up close. I guess that'll do it for today. Thanks to that company for sending these my way so I can check them out and get my Kubota ready for winter. If you're looking for a set for off-road vehicles, if you're looking for a set for a riding mower or a tractor or whatever, some kind of go-kart project, good price and uh, yeah, lots of light. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get a set for yourself. Take care.